Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to talk about the right outer join. Now the right outer join is the complete opposite of the left outer join. So we have two tables, left and right. We have some data in the right table, but we don't have any matching data for those specific records in the left table. Instead of ignoring those, both of the records, either null or not null in the right we are going to return both of them. So, how does this actually work? Now, before moving forward, I need to show you uh, some stuff. So, in here, the department ID, I'm going to set them to 1, 2, 3, and 4 because this is going to be our uh, right table. So, we do have some data in the right table. Save that. And let's go to the employees. But we don't have some data in the left table. So this is the left table. I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say set field to null. Let's close this table, save the changes, apply. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to say select from. So we're going to select from the employees table, alias it as E. And um, we are going to say right outer join. Perfect departments, departments, I alias it as D on. So what it is that we are actually joining, we are going to say E dot, uh, pass that there. I'm going to say E dot, it doesn't show me. So I'm going to say E dot department underscore ID is equal to, let's join it with the D dot department uh, underscore ID. So which columns do we want to grab from here? Let's say we want to grab the first name. Let's grab the last name. Also the department name, D dot department name, as well as D dot department ID. Let's save that. So what it is going to do, I'm going to run this and let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the result. So I'm going to say grab department one, two, three here. So now you can see we have some data in the right table, but we don't have that specific data in the left table. And because we don't have those data, we are basically going to return null. So for these employees, we are just going to return null because they belong to these specific department IDs. So you can see that we have, let me go to employees. So we have the department ID one to, uh, one to four. We have set up, we have set them to null. And you can see because they do not exist again in the left table, but that department ID actually exists in the right table. We are going to return the matching results from the right to the non matching results in the left. And this is called a right outer join. Now, keep in mind that we are not actually concerned with the employee names because if you if you highlight this, you can see that we have uh, how many were they? That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I think ten. Uh, nine or ten? I'm not really sure. So anyway, we have nine or ten. I gotta count it better. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As uh, I think that is it. No, that is 10. So we have 10 employees and you might ask, okay, but here we have only four records. So where are the rest of the employees? Now, the thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you open up the departments, so you can see that the department one, two, three, and four, they are set to null in the employees department. We don't care how many uh, first name and last names there are. Why? Bec even though we have returned four department names, there, are, there is the possibility that more than one employee will belong to a, to a department. So even though you have four department names, you have 10 people belonging to four department names. That's why only four of them are returned because they are duplicates. So you can see here, even though uh, if, if we were to like um, set it back, then we would see that there are like more than one person belonging to a department, like in this case. 
you can see there are like six, seven people belonging to this department number five. So what is the department number five? Let's take a look at that. There we go. So you can see how many employees belong to only one department. So the reason, again, is because more than one employee will belong to a department. That's why we only return the department names, not the employees. Because remember, the employees don't exist. We, they are non-matching. That's, uh, that's because the uh, department ID for those are null. Th therefore, the first name and last name is going to be null. So you don't have to like be like very you don't have to like count the like like there should be 10 what would be what would these other six departments be like a duplicate of these no because these values are null and we are just referencing them once if they were null then we would have referenced them multiple times that's it for this lecture see you in the next one